I'm actually surprised that I haven't seen this more in the YouTube community, especially people that have home studios. Today, I will show you how one simple stand can be your overhead camera, mic stand, and light stand, all in one. You can turn your home studio space from this to this and help you reclaim your studio space. I'm Rafael, and welcome to the channel. With so many people having semi-permanent setups like this one, where one small room acts like a studio with a backdrop, overhead setup, and editing suite, so why would anyone want to have so many stands in a room taking up so much space? This was my first setup, a total of five stands, and I was doubling up duty on a lot of those stands. One was an overhead camera rig with mic stand to save on floor space, but the lights all needed their own stand to be positioned in the right place. The main reason I wanted to find a way to get rid of the stands is I have small kids who are eager to always explore the office. They want to be in the room with me. Not necessarily when I'm filming, but when I'm working. So I had to constantly lock the doors when I wasn't in the office. I thought about a way of clearing the floor space in the office. This is where I spend a lot of time working and the setup with all the stands just felt clunky. Another reason was because the overhead rig that I was using before was a C-stand and it was functional, but anytime I moved around, the whole unit would shake and jitter and create this bounce effect on the footage. So majority of the footage was unusable. And it forced me to film in this very stiff and robotic way. So with the new setup, I'm actually able to film freely from overhead with no shake, only bake, and no more need for heavy sandbags to weigh down the stand. So let's take a look how to get rid of five stands and replace it with just one auto pole. An auto pole is an extension pole that locks into place with tension across the wall or from floor to ceiling. It has a spring loaded tip combined with suction rubber cups on the top and bottom to provide greater security and stability on the walls. The majority of these poles can actually extend from seven to about 12 feet. And in combination with super clamps, it creates a grid in your space for a clutter-free semi-permanent setup. For the price of just one good C-stand, you can have an auto pole with several super clamps. If you have a larger space, they make a maxi pole, which spans about 15 feet. They also make mini ones that are about four feet if you have a tighter space that you need to work in. So first off, the lighting. Because of the small office space, I wanted to have a larger light source. So instead of using a big light dome, I bounce the light off of white reflector. And bonus, because it's an Aperture 120D in a lantern, it's double diffuse, creating my version of Shane Herbert's book light. When I film overhead, I use a second 120D that is lighting top down and bouncing off the white reflector as well. If you have a white wall, that will work just as well. The overhead camera rig uses a super clamp with an extension arm, a Joby ball head mounted on a spigot. The mic is mounted on a magic arm extension in a shock mount. When I'm not filming, I unplug all the cables out of reach and sling them over the auto pole. The only thing that you really need to be careful of is not putting too much weight on these. It can carry a total weight of 30 kilograms or about 65 pounds for max load. As an example, the Aperture 120D with the light dome and the power bank is about 10 pounds. So you can easily get three lights, a camera and other accessories on there. I mounted the auto pole over the closet and window trim. These are also great to mount backdrops right against the wall. When I'm done filming, I usually pack up the camera, the tripod and clear out the entire space and the floor is completely clean but at any given point, I wanna film an overhead. I just turn on the lights, I mount the camera, and I'm ready to go. These work really well to mount lights out of frame without seeing the stands. And if you have small kids, they'll keep your equipment out of their reach for the duration of how long you have your setup. This room that I'm in here is about 11 by 11 with the camera in, in the corner. There are no stands. And it gives me access to every point in the room. If I need to store anything, I can still do it here temporarily without blocking. I used to pack up all the stands after every single shoot, but this way it allows me to film quicker and repeat the filming process over and over again. I'm actually surprised that more people aren't doing these kind of clean setups within their semi-permanent little studios. It's a great way to set up all your lights and all your gear in one place on one side of the room without taking up too much floor space. Auto poles work better than most stands in small spaces because they free up the floor and they're able to get equipment out of sight. Listen, you should definitely check out the auto pole. If you have a small setup, if you have a small working space and you film in there constantly, it's a great way to maximize your space, still have all your equipment and get your work done. That's it. I wanted to share how to reclaim your space with one very simple tool. Let me know if you've ever used auto poles in the past. As always, thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos and you think I'm doing a good job thus far, hit the like button to let YouTube know to share it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.